It's a rainy Thursday summer evening in the Rose City as Portland Timbers 2 host the Colorado Springs switchbacks in USL Western Conference play. Here is the rest of the starting lineup for Portland Timbers 2 as we're used to seeing with T2 Ross a lot of speed up top. And you see the pace of that team and you'd be hard hard done to find another team in the league that can match that pace up front. Very similar to the first team to kill. XFC enters this match in fourth place in the West and the lineup that they will put out today is a veteran group, uh, an older group, Ross, and one interesting name in there in the defense, Joseph Greenspan, acquired on loan from the Colorado Rapids just hours before this match. I always think that as a center back, you win your tackles, you look after the ball, you get your positioning, you, you take care of people around you, you've had a good game. Oh, he gives it away early. A chance maybe for Robinson. He takes it himself and it's into the belly of Kendall McIntosh. Just as I was, as I was saying on cue, Renical Clark giving the ball away. Davey Armstrong down the line. Robinson's onside, sent across. Comes off Gallagher, stays in play. It's still in play. McIntosh has to make a save. Still not clear and put in. Somehow, Luke Vercoloni is able to put in the opening goal. Most credit to Vercoloni because he stayed with it, but just feel there's a lack of urgency here on the far stick to go and win the ball. Chris Clutie, that for me is half-hearted. You're not going in for the ball. And then the second one there, it's not one. And then at the back stick, there's no sense of where the danger is. But Vercoloni for him, he stays with it. He gets himself back on side. And then as that header drops from him, he finds the far corner. Clutie steps forward now. Still Chris Clutie. Now Nico Brett takes a deflection and it's out for a corner. Ibiaga on to Suggs. Whip towards Vercoloni. McIntosh strong off his line to catch. Well, didn't he do well, McIntosh coming off? Not only did he get there, but the way he handled the ball as well once he laid himself out. Brett. Cross was blocked. Mike ball to Belmar. It does. And he skies it. Great chance for T2 to equalize. And that's one Belmar he should be tucking away. He's coming away from it, so he's got to get his foot around that ball, but he's drifted off nicely, and the ball, it does sit up where he should be putting that on frame at least and forcing Gork to make a save there. Big switch from Robinson. Tries to pick out Gonzalez. He settles with the chest. McIntosh makes the save. Would have been spectacular. A great counterattack by Colorado. And as you mentioned, nice bit of patience by Argueta just to open up that passing lane and to send Colorado on the counter attack. Bijev through for Belmar. Can he get there? Rounds Gorick. Couldn't quite put it in. Still maybe a chance here for T2. And Gorick goes down at the near post to parry it wide. And back to that point with Seth Kasipli when he Popped the ball back to the center backs instead. That time it went through the cut with Belmar. He put the ball through. Arboleda looking for Belmar. Gorick got there first. Nico Brett over the ball. Time winding down for T2. Brett sends it into the box. It's over Gorick's head. And it's put in. We can see what it means to Belmar there with the fist pump. He's got the goal, he's leveled this game, but it's a horrific error by Gork as he comes out. He had a few problems in the first half with balls coming into his area, and as he starts to come, he backpedals, and from there he just flaps in it, gets no contact on the ball, completely misjudged, but there's Carlton Belmar popping up, making sure that this time, when that chance falls to him, he makes no mistake as he tucks it in to tie this game. 
struggled to really threaten Devala Gorik the entire match. But Gorik makes an error. Belmar pounces, and we're level. And maybe searching for a winner, Arbolada to the back post over the head of Belmar. Well, that's a big chance. That is a huge chance there as Arbolada knows that he should have kept it on the deck. Another chance to send it into the box. Greenspan rises up. Belmar knocks it down. And that is it.